gonna go over here. Okay. So today, we're going to really face decision making. Okay. I want us to really delve deep into why are you making a particular decision? Mm -hmm. Is it because of other people? Is it because you're afraid? Mm -hmm. Or is it because it's really what you want to do? Right. You've got your mom and dad. Mm -hmm. They ask you to make a decision or they make a decision for you. Who has to live with the decision? I do. You do? Yeah. For the rest of your life. Yes. <laughs> for 13 years of Vanessa's life, she followed instructions from her coaches as a professional gymnast. She is used to being told what to do, not to think for herself. Well, today, we have to break that habit. Vanessa is going to make all her decisions today. But not only that, she has to explain why. Let's make our first choice, shall okay. we? Okay. There's no wrong or right choice. Okay. Okay. So, your choice. This one. Sexy. Yeah. Mm. Do I get this? Go ahead. Let's see what it is. <laughs> Ooh. What do you think of that? I think I like it. <laughs> I like it a lot. Excellent. So tell me, what was your decision-making process to choose sexy over comfortable? I feel more powerful being sexy. Okay, so you chose the powerful choice. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. Well, there's going to be a magic table out in the front yard. You're going to go to this magic table, mm -hmm. and you're going to be presented with a choice. Okay. And you and I are going to see each other at 6 o'clock. Okay. And you're going to go decision by decision and tell me why you made the decision you made. Okay. And, you know, does it represent some values you want to embody for yourself? Okay. So are you excited? Yes. Yeah. Do I get to Yes. I it's yours. You okay. made the choice. Yay. I'm discussing a very important topic with the women this morning, stress, because of the important role that it plays on our physical, mental, emotional and spiritual health. Miss Katrinda, the most stressed out you've ever been. When I left my first husband and I had to get a job and I had to support my kids and I had to do it alone. Hmm. Miss Vanessa, <laughs> most stressed you've ever been. Mm, by far, the Olympic trials. I think hmm. I was so stressed out it felt like I was going to die. And what was the stress about the trials? I think it was a combination of pressure, knowing that I wasn't going to make it anyway. You knew that going in? Um, I had a good feeling that I wasn't going to, I think. Which means doing something that you don't believe you can really do. Yeah. That's stress. Yeah. Okay. Miss Allison. Okay. <laughs> Vanessa. Use this pin to pop one of the balloons for a surprise. Remember, you can only choose one, and only you can decide. Hmm. Oh, that's money, isn't there? It's only dollars. I'm choosing the mysterious balloon, because I can see the other balloon has money in it, but it's only a couple dollars, so I'm okay with you know, letting that go. And I think I like a little bit of mystery, so I'm um, very interested in the balloon that I can't see. Sweet! $20. Oh, I'm happy. Too less nutrition. Gee, I wonder which one. Vanessa, choose a snack from one of these boxes marked nutritious or delicious. Remember, you can only choose one and only you can decide. Hello. I definitely am picking the nutritious box today because I know, you know, that's what I want. I want to be a healthy person. Hmm. Cheese and apples. Yay. <laughs> I'd, I'd just rather go for the nutritious than the delicious. <sighs> I can't go on my diet. Vanessa. Vanessa, either call one of your parents and tell them truthfully your regrets and what it really costs you to be in gymnastics or clean all the bathrooms in the house. No. That's not a good one. Calling my mother is the right thing to do in this situation. I need to be honest with her. It's hard to tell her, but, um, you know, I need to be honest. I think this is the very adult decision to make, and uh, I'm very proud of myself. What's up? So the whole day, they, um, the whole, the whole day today, I have to, like, I have to go outside in the front, and there's, like, a decision I have to make or something that they give me. And then the last one was, like, there's an envelope, 
And it said this. I'm going to read it. It said, Vanessa, either call one of your parents and tell them truthfully your regrets and what it really cost you to be in gymnastics or clean all the bathrooms in the house. <laughs> oh, boy. I, I just wrote down some stuff. Okay. Um, I regret missing my childhood. <laughs> um, I regret crying inside every day. I regret crying inside? Yeah, like every day I wanted to cry, but I didn't. You know what I mean? I like you know I'm crying inside. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Um, and then I think it cost me a relationship with you. I regret having too much pressure. I regret not making decisions for myself. And that's all. This is hard to hear. This is hard to hear because I know that you suffered a lot during that time. Mm. And, you know, there's nothing I can do about it now. Yeah. You know, I feel like kind of Bad. helpless. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I really didn't know that you were suffering that much, Vanessa. I know. That's what I regret is not being in the, you know I regret that I've told you that before. Mm -hmm. The thing that I like realized the most is that it's really my fault for not being able to, you know, say, you know what, I don't want to do it. You know what I mean? Right, but you were you were also very young, so you weren't an adult. So right. I feel But I think lots I take of a lot of blame because as a mom, I should have been able to pick up on all that. Well, that's hard to do, though. Yeah, but I'm, I, I was so close to you, though, too. And sometimes I think I was just, like, in denial mm -hmm. of it because, you know, when you see somebody with so much talent, you don't want them to throw it away. Right. I think that's uh, where I have a lot of regret myself. Yeah. It's a lot harder than what I thought it was going to be. I think if we just keep communicating about it, that awkwardness is going to go away. I don't regret the decision that I made. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, this sucks because I can't hug you. <laughs> I know. <laughs> don't get scared if I call again. <laughs> oh, well, I'm expecting it, I guess. <laughs> Alrighty. All right. Okay, I'll talk I to you. you. I love you, too. Bye. Bye. about your let's make a choice day it was it was fun i actually realized a lot of things that like i learned i can make decisions i can learn that they're good ones yes and um i decided that um to call my mom and the decision was easy but doing it was really hard yes i'm not afraid to tell her but doing it and hearing her is the hard part that's what i don't like and how did that conversation make you feel it made, it made me feel good because she kind of owned up to not seeing it. But I, I felt good because I let her know that, you know, it's not her fault because I didn't let her see it yeah. at all. I love that you so quickly chose to call your mother. Mm -hmm. But I also love what you said. It was an easy decision, but it was hard to do. Right. What could you say about yourself? That I'm brave? Yes, that you are brave. <laughs> Yeah, that you are brave. And the more that you embrace that braveness and know you're brave, mm -hmm. it won't be so scary to do the hard things. I've always been afraid to make decisions for myself, and I've really noticed throughout this exercise that I make great decisions, and um, you know, I should trust them more. I want you to keep your decision journal okay. because I think that will really support you mm -hmm. in integrating and embodying what you've learned today. Okay. Oh.